Hi, this is Emily from Kid Lick Book Love. Some people have asked some questions in some of the comments on my YouTube channel and I wanted to address them. And the first thing I wanted to talk about is where I've been. Some of you have asked, I used to create tons of these videos on children's literature. Um, I started the channel about four years ago and you might notice there was a gap after a while after I produced dozens and dozens of videos. So when I first started this channel four years ago, I was working on my second master's degree, which was in English literature. And my thesis project, my capstone project was on children's literature. So for that uh, master's, um, for that thesis project, my job, <laughs> what I chose for my project was to design an entire undergraduate um, a children's literature course for English majors in a college university setting. So that included a reading list of 100 children's books from various ages and genres and a 180 page proposal I had to write, including in designing the entire class, the lessons, the curriculum, every single other thing on the universe. And it was during that time that I produced um, all of those videos sharing a lot of other stuff I, I was buying and reading and finding. Well, as I when I graduated and my, you know, and my earlier master's was in adult education. And so my, my goal was to combine um, to my training and teaching adults um, on children's literature, not so much working with kids in literacy settings. Now I did that as well because I homeschooled my own kids from second grade all the way through high school. <clears throat> but my real love and passion is um, children's literature, but training adults all on the wonderful, you know, juicy, magical, imaginative, sweet and fun and creative and genius um, that goes behind children's literature and its purposes. And, you know, adults can really appreciate that and including how to use the literature, which is part of what I wanted to teach. So anyway, I went on to do a lot of other things, which is why I lost touch with the channel, including recording YouTube videos, because I didn't have time. I was teaching college classes in person at a local college, a career college. And over time, I fell into teaching things I didn't really enjoy, English composition, research writing, essay writing, all the completely crummy like core English classes you have to take when you're doing your degree and so I didn't get to really stick with literature teaching the literature and books and particularly children's literature which was my passion so you know thank goodness now that I quit and left that world because COVID is here and I really do not want to, have to be in a classroom um anyway so it worked out perfect and I was doing some other things during that time I was writing and publishing books of my own and um doing you know some other stuff in that time but um for two of the last two years i've been working on the the design and implementation of my children's literature training academy which is something i talked about in another video i'm posting tonight which is the video about my new facebook page so check that out and um that's an intensive level children's literature training program for adults and it will be launching in the spring of 2021 um, and so anyway, but, and it's still in the works. It's an incredibly comprehensive program. So that's what I've been doing. And I just didn't have the time for the videos. And it really made me sad. I had to figure out what to cut and where and when, because I just couldn't do it all as much as I would love to. And of course I read hundreds of children's books in that time that I never got to do reviews for, which is a bummer. And I do more than just reviews. I, you know, I talk about analysis and themes and, and patterns and diversity and then teaching children's literature and, and studying children's literature, how to apply children's literature, including, you know, rare gem book finds and discounts and all kinds of fun stuff. So I'll be covering a lot of different stuff in videos like that on my Facebook page versus here. So keep an eye on that stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to um, answer that question, but I'm definitely gonna be releasing videos on here every Friday evening to Saturday morning and every Tuesday on my Facebook page, Tuesday evenings after 6 p.m. Pacific time. These are videos that you can only see in one place or the other. I don't do crossover content on any of my sites. So um, I really wanted to change my YouTube channel here, Kid Lit Book Love to Children's Literature Training Academy, but I didn't want to confuse all my followers. But anywhere else, it would be under Children's Literature Training Academy. All right. So thanks, everybody. And another comment and question I've seen regularly on comments on this YouTube channel. People are asking me about my eye. <laughs> yes, I have a lazy eye. I have a Forrest Whitaker lazy eye. It's a condition called strabismus. It is not a conspiracy. Let's just get this elephant out of the room or off the table or whatever you want to call it. You all can stop making comments on my eye. I can see fine. I'm not blind. It's a muscle problem. Keeping the eye straight. I've had it since I was two years old. I woke up with it one day. Um, it's a genetic thing. I have a photo of my great, great, great grandmother in the early 1800s um, with the same eye condition. It skipped a zillion generations and landed on me. There you go. It's not a mystery. So you can stop asking and talking about it in the comments on my YouTube videos. Let's stick with the children's literature. Thanks everybody for watching and I really look forward to hearing more of your comments and questions.